Right, we've spoken about adjusting the overall brightness, we've spoken about adjusting the overall colour balance, but this picture has its own set of problems. This is a picture of my youngest boy when he was just born, he was about two or three days old. Some babies, when they're first born, it takes a few days for their liver to start functioning, so they get a little bit jaundice, and as a result he's looking really quite yellow in this picture. I'd like to try and fix that. So. Let's come and take a look at it. We'll duplicate our layer so we can compare with. And as always, start off with the overall brightness. I'm going to use levels here. Yeah, you can see there's a very definite difference. Here. I'll reset it from last time. I'm going to make the lights lighter and the darks darker. Always when you're doing this, for most pictures, you're looking for a good contrast, a good balance between the darks and the lights. That usually involves making things a little bit more contrasty. Now, because it was a nighttime picture, I would like the picture to be just a little bit darker and more intimate, but that does serve to make the colours even more intense. Right, now my problem with this is I need to adjust the colour of the skin. It's looking a bit too bright, basically, but also his nice little blue outfit, that's looking washed out at the same time. For adjusting saturations, we come to Effects Browser, Colour Adjustments, Hue. Okay, now, what have we got here? Now, you can use this tool to adjust the overall saturation of the image. Let's do that now. Take it down, take it down, take it out. Yep, and it's pretty much grayed out there. Or you can make it incredibly bright and, well, if you like that sort of thing. That's all very well and good so far, but the smart thing about this is you can use it to target certain ranges of colours. It looks like I want the reds and the yellows to be less saturated, but the blue there these two to be a bit more saturated. Okay, that's fine. At the moment, all colors being affected. And you can also spin the wheel around and change the hue as well to get some pretty weird effects. But that's not where we're going this afternoon. Instead, I'm going to click on this little red button here, which targets, you can see in my box here, it's targeting the red parts of the image. That's when the saturation is right up. And you can see that the face is being affected much more than, say, the jacket. The background, the blankets are being affected to a certain extent, but not as much. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make that less saturated. Now I'll take a look at the yellow. Just the saturation on that. It's taking it away from the blanket in the background. And it's also... Yeah, look, you can see this yellow here, as well as the face, it's getting more washed out. I can live with that because my main concern is the face of the baby. That's looking better than the original. We'll check that in a minute, maybe go back to it if we need to. Now, what about these blues? I'd like them to be a little bit more saturated, and I'm getting that as well, maybe a little bit darker. And also this blue here, a little bit more saturated there, maybe a little bit darker. I'll go with that, click on OK. Right, let's compare that with the original image. Original, looking very yellowed out and whitewashed out. This one, yeah, I'm getting a much better balance of colours there. Although, okay, one thing to watch out for, see this bit here? Maybe you won't pick that up on the video too well, but because the dialog box was sitting over the top of it, I didn't realise that I was actually making these colours a little bit too washed out. Now, there are things we can do about that. We'll save that for a more advanced episode. But for now, you can see the saturation's improved, especially on the baby's face, which is what I wanted. So in general, do your brightness first, then do your colour balance, and if necessary, check the hue and the saturation of the picture as well. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance along with me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.